this should get interesting because today we are joined by a very special guest, dream expert Kelly Sullivan Walden. She's going to help us break down some of our most common dreams. So Kelly, first and foremost, welcome to DBL. Thank uh, you. So we each wanted to kind of, you know, get your expertise. I have a reoccurring dream, but it only happens, I would say here. And so even though it's reoccurring, it doesn't mm. happen consistently. Right. And I used to swim. Um, and for me, oh my gosh, I'm like, tra I'm like <gasps> transfixed by you. me swimming. You're um, good. So I used to swim and in my swimming dream, because when I swim, I swim very fast. I, mm -hmm. I did very well. Mm -hmm. In my swimming dream, I'm struggling and I can barely feel the water. Oh, oh. And Ooh. I just am slow. Mm, and okay. it gives me a lot of panic. Okay, so if it were my dream, I, I, would th I always think that water represents the emotional feminine element of things. And to be somebody who is an expert in the water means that you're really good, not just on dry land, but in emotions. But I'd say um, there's something about going slow. Like I think sometimes our emotional self is inconvenient. It's like sometimes we don't wanna cry. We don't wanna feel too much. We'd rather just get through it because we've got things to do. So I think this dream, if it were my dream, is telling me to slow down yes. and not be afraid afraid of the deep water, not be afraid of doing it a little bit different and just feel my feelings, take time, even maybe schedule time. That is, to feel that the is feelings. really important. It, wow. Is there something to the familiarity of her being in the water For that sure. has anything to do with it? Yes. Yeah. I mean, kind of like a dolphin. I mean, I feel like you're, this is your element. You know, you, you're in control. I mean, the water also represents the mystery, the feminine, the, what we don't know. And the fact that you're an expert at it, but you're an expert at going fast. You're not an expert. No, going slow. slow. That's a great point. I need to slow down and I need to not bottle my emotions until when it just comes out on this show. Because that's when it comes out. This is at a good home, place. I'm like calm, cool, collected, in charge, and then it all comes out on this table. Oh, so thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> that's beautiful. Yeah. So mine is reoccurring okay. um, and it has to do with my teeth, which is something that I struggled with all my life. Um, mm. I had to have major like reconstruction on mm. my teeth. So what happens is now I have veneers and they look beautiful. Beautiful, by the way. Thank you. Thank Gorgeous you. Gorgeous and oh so natural. Um, thanks. Uh -huh. uh, so it's always when I have some place to be, like I have to come to this show or I have to uh, present that my teeth will start to crumble and it's Ooh. the veneers that mm -hmm. they either pop out and I can't get to the dentist before I have to be somewhere. Oh my God. Okay, I've got so much to say. Um, all right, so I think there's something interesting about even the wordplay in dreams, like a veneer crackling. So. I think our dreams have an agenda, and the agenda is to become fully transparent and truly okay with even the things we think are not pretty about us. Like whatever, how, whoever your previous self was pre-veneers, it's like that was a precious aspect of you. And there might be, if it were my dream, like I don't want that part of me. I want the polished, professional, hi, I got it all together self to, to be in the light of day. But, but this other part is still there, and maybe it's about honoring her. <sighs> And like taking care of and you know the part of maybe the part of you I mean the part of myself because I don't know if this is true for you that might not have it all together that might sometimes feel like she's falling apart doesn't have all the power and Eric, you've had a lot of changes in well, your life do you think maybe you're balancing old Erica new Erica I think it's interesting because I haven't had this dream at honestly probably in a year and I think it has to do with me going natural ah her hair like, Oh, well, God, your hair is gorgeous. Thank you. Oh, my Thanks. God. But yeah, that's so interesting that wow. Wow. I've had this dream like my whole life and I haven't had it like in a really long time. Is there something about being transparent, being like fully you that makes you stronger, that gives you strength? And I think our dreams are trying to not not to say, I mean, it's nice to have the veneers. You look mm -hmm. fabulous, you. but there's something about knowing that you're beautiful even if they did crack off, not that that would ever happen. What, where do you get like that water represents feminism in, uh, in what you were saying about Erica? Where does this come from? I make it all up. No, Dude, just, no, no, no. <laughs> no I, I've studied and I've, um, I'm, I'm a hypnotherapist by trade, so my area of expertise is the subconscious mind. So I've studied the patterns and themes of the language of symbol, basically. So it's kind of like our first language. Yes, there's many languages that we speak throughout the world, but if we didn't have the our voice to speak, we would all kind of point to the sun to represent light. We'd point to certain things that we would, that we all kind of understand fundamentally. So there's a lot that we have in common on the, on the level of symbol. Oh.